we have finally made some changes to the Monopoly Hub board. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back with Monopoly Hut number 12, I want to say, and we finally got around to um, updating the board. So as you can see here, we added a bunch of special packs to the, uh, you know, four sides of the uh, board here. Some more special packs, that's pretty much all we added. I didn't want to put too many special packs, so we still got a lot of premium packs on the board, but we did, like, I want to say double, maybe more than double the amount of special packs we had on the board, which is very good, especially with the event that is out right now. With that being said, you can see that we have a new webcam here. Um, the holidays are upon us, boys. Uh, Christmas is coming up, Hanukkah started, so it's time to get festive with it, so uh, here it is. So without further ado, we're going to roll the dice for the first time this episode. Last episode wasn't the greatest episode because my capture card just stopped recording. So we did leave off on uh, two special packs here at the start of the board here, so we're going to roll the dice for the first time this episode. I got to get it loaded on my phone, and uh, hopefully we can get something good. Alright, rolling for the first time this episode... And we get a five. A five is two premium packs. Man, we were so close to that special pack, if only. Um, but that's just the luck of the board. So look in here, I have eight unopened packs. Leafer, how do you have eight unopened packs? I did those uh, trade 12 silver players for four gold players trade-in sets because I had a bunch of silver players, why not? So we're gonna open up the premium packs, for uh, the two premium packs first, and then we will go ahead and open up those packs and then head into a game. But looking at the packs that are available right now, man, crazy ultimate choice pack we got a black friday pack i'll be honest boys if we land on special packs this episode i i don't care i'm either going with the ultimate choice pack or the 22 uh under 22 master uh set player booster pack i'm just saying regardless let's go open up these two premium packs like i said i doubt there's gonna be anything in them but like i said if i do land on special packs because we do have a chance of landing on special packs next roll i think if we roll like a three or four we can get special packs if that does happen as we pull a team of the week i'm opening up either an ultimate choice pack or that that starter pack to get a free 86 player i'm just saying that right now uh i usually do a random number generator to see what kind of card i'm gonna get nah man this time around you got packs like that in the store we ain't playing around boys we are gonna open up those packs okay so 750 coins it's actually gonna help us out a ton like we need coins badly right now uh anything else here uh tyler myers won't help the team okay we made 1750 coins so we will definitely take that as we watch the coin total go up to 7.3k we still have packs to open before we head into our first game uh so let's see what we can get here by the way kyle connor and Artemi Panarin, they are due for upgrades, but they have not been, gotten any upgrades since last time we recorded a video. So I thought I'd let you guys know. First one of these packs, absolutely horrible. I've seen some crazy luck in, in these four gold player packs. I've seen people pull purples. I've seen people pull uh, icon, uh, uh, power up icons. So you never know. We pull a Petrangelo, who actually might, it's, it might be time to replace um, Mr. Uh, Tyler Johnson or... We can use him to upgrade Set Jones to an 86 because we are very close to Set Jones being an 86, I think. So we might look at that before we head into a game. That might be the smart thing to do. Asplin, Kevin Hayes at an 82, Evander Kane, and a Lucas Johansson. All right, Evander Kane in some hot waters as he's uh, now on waivers. And apparently, some teams are interested in trading for him, but that's besides the point here, all right? We got, what, like four of these left, maybe three after this one nothing in this one now the good thing about this is um we're stocking up on players to make power up by or power up collectibles um and then uh also collectibles for 22 and under players when and if we do make one um i forgot what you guys said about that i think uh, you guys were telling me i'm allowed to make one uh so we'll see i think that might be the play i think we have enough players to make one um so we'll see we'll see all right here we go. We're we got two more of these. We're going to skip this one. Oh my goodness. That was one of the worst ones I've ever seen. Last pack. And then we're going to see if we can upgrade our set Jones. Because I, I have a feeling we might be able to. All right. So last one here. Mark Stoll. Uh-huh. Nick Felino, And that's it. That one hurts a little bit. Yeah. We have enough to make Mr. Seth Three Jones. So let's go take him out of the lineup. We get a plus one overall upgrade, which is absolutely huge. Uh, things you love to see. First master set player on this team. So here we are completing the set. Mr. Seth jones gonna be at an 86 overall like i said our first master set player it's a plus one upgrade it's nice to see and eventually if we do get someone better uh we can definitely just uh go ahead 
and uh, throw them into the sets to make collectibles or another master set player. So 86 set Jones, let's throw him onto the team. And there we are, set Jones playing with Victor Hedman. Uh, what synergies does this master's card set have? Anything to help us out, we'll throw some applesauce on them and then bombard it. All right, so good stuff. Uh, good first pairing. The team's looking way better now. Um, we can't, I don't think we have uh, Petrangelo to upgrade because we threw him into that set to make Jones. So uh, let's just head into the first game of the episode here. Last episode, we were like in platinum, maybe even higher. I think we were, I think we were plat. We were plat or diamond. Um, and now we're in bronze, so you take a couple days off and you, you just drop. So we're heading into a game. We're gonna hope to get a better ranking, and we're gonna hope we get name max some upgrades here, because um, I can afford to get him up to an 83. And then, oh, okay, you know what? Let's get him some upgrades. We can afford it. All right. So we are playing a guy with Lemieux, Kane, and Panarin. More, more importantly, Lemieux. Other than anything, this, this is, this is gonna be interesting. So Jones carry the puck. In his first game as an 86, to be fair. Marshan over to Marner. Oh my god, what a poke from his goalie because Marner could have potted that in there. Good stuff. Get that over. Muzzin, what a save from Connor Hellbuck. He played it. Bad pass. Bad pass. Not good. All right, we're going to Manny poke. Love it. Let's go, Vasilevsky. He took another penalty. McKinnon. Oh, dude, that was going to be his upgrade, too. We get another power play as the other one expires. We need to convert on this one. Good face-off win. Got to be quick with this. Seth Three Jones with a shot. Marner. Oh, the puck just fell to Hedman. Over across. Muzzin. Oh, the deflection for Marshan. Nice try. Oh, Mitch is gone. Over across, Brad Marshan. Dude, I don't know how we don't have a goal yet. Keep going, Neymac. There you go, Marshan. Take it around the net. There it is, Marner. Oh, my God. One of these got to go in. Out of boy, Mitch. To McKinnon. McKinnon. Oh, my God. This line has been on since the power play, by the way. And a one is 0 0. I'm not sure how. I, I honestly, I need to like watch a video on how to score in NHL 22. I, I, I just can't score. What a save from Vasilevsky. I, I literally can't pick up this puck for some reason. Good pass. That's got to be a pen, right? What a move. No, why are you blowing the whistle dead? Why you? I know he's injured, but like, let me play on. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm not a fan of that. And he'd even get like a charging penalty for that. That's horrible. Good stick lift. Uh, we're not going to come out with this. Wow, we actually did. I'm shocked. Because the Benajad. Oh, that LT almost worked. Good, good, good move from Latang. Oh, we tried saucing that over. Couldn't do it. Mika to the net. Mika's a been a jad. That's the goal we wanted. 1-0. Finally able to score. Good take from Mika. Assisted from Christopher Latang. Good stuff, boys. Up the boards here. We got line one on Artemi. Take the puck, Artemi. Oh, nice try. He was covering Nate Mack all the way. Over to Nate Mack. Oh my god. We we he's literally cursed. We can't get him an upgrade. There it is. Name Mac. We, we legit can't get Name Mac an upgrade. This game just doesn't want me to upgrade Name Mac. Pedersen to Marner. Oh, what a save, dude. That's a trip. Let's take the power play into the next period. We tried. We couldn't. It's fine. We're going to get a fresh, pretty much fresh power play next period. We're playing great right now. Four seconds. Like, we got time to get something here. Let's get a, a draw back to McKinnon. Over to Kachuk. Oh my god, nice try. End of two. It's one nothing, and deservedly so. Uh, I need to score more goals, though. Let's be honest. Let's go, McKinnon. Burn him. Let's go. Namak. There it is. Literally too easy. That's a Nathan McKinnon upgrade. He's up to an 83 now. We said we wanted an upgrade this period on the power play. Name Mac got it. Hedman got an assist as well. Let's go. I know you guys were saying a couple episodes ago I should upgrade Hedman for every assist he gets, but I feel like that'd be too easy. Let me know what you guys think about that, but I, like I said, I think that's just too easy. Name Mac. Oh my god, Name Mac wants another upgrade. He actually wants another upgrade. He scored now and he, he just he doesn't want to stop. Off the post. So close. Keep going, Kyle Connor. Man, we were close to getting McKinnon two upgrades this game. Neymac. Oh, my. Neymac is having himself one hell of a period right now. Point. Over to Muzzin. Nice try. Monaghan. 
Verhage. Oh, that just perfectly went in front of Carter Verhage, and he absolutely just nipped Connor Hellbuck. It is a 3 0 hockey game. Assisted for Monaghan and Muzzin. Good stuff, boys. Up there. There we go. Let's go, Mitchell. Mitch Marner. Oh, it's just too easy for Mitch Marner. It's a 4 0 hockey game. I absolutely love his 88 plays of the year card. It's so good. And, and he quit. What a way to end off the game. We love it. We're now in silver ranking, which is great to see. We're in Div 5 now. I think we were always in Div 5, maybe. I, I don't know. I'm crazy. Looking at the stats here, well-deserved win, obviously. And then looking here, uh, we did get Nathan McKinnon an upgrade, which is great to see. Hedman got an assist. So you guys let me know about the assist and upgrading for defensemen. I, I think it's too easy, but you guys let me know. You guys dictate that. But... Nate Mac is due for an upgrade, so let's go and do it. We also completed some objectives here, so that'll help us get some coins into the account, so don't mind if I do. Like I said, every coin helps right now, especially because we're about to spend 6.5k to upgrade our McKinnon up to an 83. But hey, I'm not complaining, man. McKinnon is great at an 81. I can only imagine at an 83 and higher. So Nathan McKinnon now at an 83. We're at 2k coins. This card looks absolutely phenomenal. Um, yeah, this first line is looking absolutely spicy. Back at the board, as you know how it is, we gotta load up this random uh, dice generator. We're gonna try and pull, uh, I think a three or four gets me that special pack. Um, and like I said, if we get it, we're just opening up that ultimate choice pack. No questions asked about it. So here we go. We're gonna roll for the first time this episode. Let me hit record on my phone. So give me a second here. Rolling for the second and final time this episode. And we get a four. So looking at the board here, one, two, three, four is special packs and it's multiple special packs. Um, you know what? To be fair, to be fair, I think we're going to only open up one special pack because we are choosing it and it's going to be that ultimate choice pack. So I know it says special packs, but like I said, to be fair to the episode, uh, we're going to open up the one ultimate choice pack and that counts as two. So you're probably wondering, Leifer, wh why are you counting it as two packs? Guys, look at this. Ultimate choice pack. It's 125k pack. We get an 86 plus player at a 62% chance. All right, 2,500 points down the drain. We're gonna have to reload the points next episode, which is gonna hurt the bank account a little bit. But here we go, first round, John Tavares, uh, Josh Morrissey, uh, Team of the Week, I'm not gonna pronounce his name, and a Tyler Toffoli. So let's take um, you, Morrissey, and Tavares for the 83 pluses, why not? Second round, I need a purple. Give me a big purple pull, please. Dante Fabro, uh, okay, Miller, and Zaka, so we'll take. Well, you know what? It doesn't even matter because he's an 82. My controller died mid pack, so hold on. Let me go change the batteries. Okay, we're batteried up. Like I said, um, yeah, we're batteried up. All right, here we go. New batteries means very big pull coming. Three more rounds, I believe. Let's pull a purple. Patrice Berger on at an 84, not bad. Phil Kessel is in the greatest there. Jamie Ben and Logan Couture, so we'll take. Couture, Ben, and Patrice Bergeron. Like I said, two more rounds. Uh, just one purple. One purple. We get a 68% chance. There's no way I don't get a purple here, man. Please. Seattle pack. Dunn, Appleton, Kuznetsov, and Yessi Pugliarvi. We'll take Pugliarvi, Kuznetsov, and uh, let's go Dunn. All right. Last round. Come on. Please, Hirie. I beg. Bang. There's our purple. Alexander Ovechkin. Huge upgrade to the team. Absolutely huge. And if we eventually get his X Factor card, we can upgrade him just like that. Alexander Ovechkin at an 86 overall. Card looks absolutely insane. Uh, Dougie Hamilton. Nikita Kucherov. Two purples in one round. Kucherov and Ovi. The two Russian beauties. Huge upgrade to the team. This is why I'm counting this as two special packs. Look at this special pack. Two purples. We get a Ovechkin and a Kucherov, and then a Connor Geeky. All right, 85 and 286s. We'll take this. So we'll take a Connor Geeky, a Kucherov, and an Alexander Ovechkin. That last round came in clutch. I was about to be so sad if we didn't pull anything. Good stuff there. Tavares, Morrissey, Fabro. Or, okay, we're not counting Fabro there. Bergeron, and then we get Ovi, Kucherov, and Geeky. Let's go throw these absolute legends onto the team. Okay, boys, this four core is looking absolutely nuts after those upgrades. First line stays the same with Panarin, McKinnon, and Connor. Great first line. Second line, look at this line, man. Nikita Kucherov, Connor Geeky, and Mitchell Marner. This card is absolutely going to destroy on the ice. 
Third line being, oh my goodness, Ovi Bergeron Marchand. Okay, don't mind if I do. And then the third line, the fourth line's a little weak. Ricard Raquel's a and Kachuk, but like that's fine. It's the fourth line. Our first three lines are absolutely nuts now. Defense stays the exact same. Goaltending stays the exact same. Um, I'm excited to try out the new players we just got, so we're just gonna quickly hop into the last game of the episode here. Second game of the episode, Hedman, Crosby, Eichel were his best players. Okay, Leaf Fan versus Leaf Fan. Let's see what our new players can do today. Let's try to get McKinnon more upgrades as well. Atta boy, get it over to Hedman. Nice try, he's got Victor Rask in that. Got you, got you. Not Victor Rask, hello? What am I saying? Tuka Rask. Little, yeah, not the greatest uh, guy to deke with, that's for sure. Nikita Kucherov here. Take it to the net. There you go, Kuch. Over across to Mitch Marner, and this line is already buzzing. What a play from Nikita Kucherov. Literally carried that whole play. I went silent there because I knew I was scoring. Kucherov to Marner. They're already clicking. It's a 1-0 hockey game. Good start from the boys. Now we got a new, like a whole new third line here. Bergeron, Ovi, and uh, Marchand. Uh, couldn't get the speed up there. Nice. Bergeron over to Marchand. Oh, no. Don't call that off. That was actually so dirty. Dude, that saucer pass. They're going to call this off. Even though I was pushing him into the right position. What a shot from Marshan. That's not going to count. That would have been so sweet, dude. That was one of the best passes I've ever made in my life. No, I wanted that to Bergeron, but that's fine. That works out. Get there, Ovi. a boy. Ovi's first goal. Oh, I, I thought that was it, too. Bergeron. Oh, that's a good hit, man. I was taking that straight to the net. Kyle Connor. To Panarin. Over to Kyle Connor. Just didn't get there. No, I didn't even get the stick lift. Big hit from Johnson. We needed that. Big poke from Byron. I'm telling you, I love this pairing almost as almost as much as I love the Muzzin and Hall pairing early on this in this series. And a two, it's one nothing, and we're just dominating, to be honest, man. Looking at the stats, you can't fight me on it. Get one back over to Jones. The deflection, McKinnon. Oh, good save from Tuca. Big hit from Jonesy. Oh my God, did I just see the? Between the leg shot from Matthews? What just happened? I want an instant replay of that right now, but I'm pretty sure that's what I just saw. Oh, what a pass. Oh, he played, he, he read that very well. That was nice. What a poke from Victor. Hedman does lock it down on defense. Oh my, I got the bump, but the puck still got to his OV. It's a 1-1 hockey game after dominating him. Not a fan of that at all right now. Go Marner. Over to Cooch. What a pass. Geeky off the post. Oh, Connor Geeky. It's too easy. Dude, how, how have we not scored? How have we not scored a goal? Eight seconds. Mitch is tired, man. Over to Victor Hedman. Oh, dude. He, he's actually never going to get an upgrade at this at this rate here, man. I'm having so many good opportunities with Hedman. I just can't pot it in. End of two, and it's somehow tied 1-1. I look at these stats. Look at the time on attack. I hate it, dude. I hate it here. I'm not. I'm not too worried, man. I just need to pot the next one in, plain and simple. There you go, Connor. Get it over to Nate Mac. Nate Mac to the front of the net, dude. Nate Mac. We need to get him one more upgrade, man. One more upgrade, and he's gonna be like literally unstoppable. Got that. Let's go, Mitch. Three on two break. Bergeron. Over to Latang, over to Bergeron, and there it is. I, I knew we were getting the next goal. Patrice Bergeron in his debut gets a goal. We regain the lead at 2-1. Assist from Latang and Marner. I absolutely love this Marner card. You guys don't understand. And I'm not a Marner fan or anything. So there's no bias. I see a McKinnon. I see a Nate Mac. I see a Nate Mac. I thought that was it because the goalie was screened too. And Aaron, whenever the puck wants to reach you, over to Nate Mac. What a saucer pass. My God, dude. What a save from Vass. That was not a good shot to give up late. And that's game. It's a 2-1 victory for your boys. 
No one got any upgrades, but it's two wins this episode. I'm taking it. Even close to gold after that game, I, I don't care. A win's a win. We take that. We complete a bunch of objectives, which is coins. And looking here, like I said, no upgrades, but Marner had himself one heck of a game. He's loving his new second line. Bergeron uh, scored in his debut. Uh, you, you love to see it. And uh, looking at the stats here, deservingly so, we won that game. Looking here, we completed four objectives here. Uh, so we get 500 coins from that. We get 750 coins from completing passes, so we're getting our coin total back up. And in the milestones tab, we get a three gold players pack. So let's go open that quickly before we end this episode. And if we pull something cool, if not, it's been a great episode regardless. That's what I'm trying to say here. So three gold players pack. What will we get? Probably nothing, but you never know. Again, this is just helping the collection out here. So nothing there. That's fine by me. Um, yeah, that's the episode, man. It's been a good one. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's Monopoly HUD episode. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We upload three times a week on the channel. That does include this Monopoly HUD series. So, um, what an episode today has been. Uh, we made a bunch of, like, cool upgrades. Ultimate Choice Pack is always fun to open. And we won both our games, which is huge. So, like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!